Hello again, everybody. This is Daniel Pace, Simple Crypto Consulting, and today I'm just going to do a quick video um, and a little bit of an informal format on uh, the T drop for Theta. And I saw a bunch of questions going around, and, and there wasn't a whole bunch of information that was really clear about how this is going to work. So I figured I'd start with the white paper, and then I'd show you a spreadsheet that I made that should calculate, that'll give a rough estimate of the T drop airdrop. And then I'll have that spreadsheet uh, linked down in the description so you can check it out and then you can use it to calculate an approximate version of your own potential airdrop. There's a lot of things that we don't know exactly right now, but uh, it's important, I think, that some of this information should have been out and a little bit clearer back in August because now we're already a couple months into this period between August 1st and February 1st. And so a lot of people are asking questions like, what if I unstake and restake with a smaller amount? So uh, that's what I want to kind of tackle today. So you can see here, this is the this is the white paper. Um, and this is going to be basically where you should go first for all the information on it. This is the token metrics. This is the breakdown of where all the 20 billion T drop are going to be going. Um, target launch is February 1st still at this point next year so the biggest thing uh, people are curious about is this 20% rewards for the theta validators and guardians so if you're staking to G pool or you have your own guardian node or anything like that then you will be getting a T drop airdrop on February 1st at this point with this much information so this is how it's calculated basically uh, 1.3 or one third of that 4 billion so 4 billion is 20% of the 20 billion. And that'll be distributed proportionally to all the Theta Validator and Guardian stakers. They're using an average amount that's been staked between August 1st and February 1st. And then this is kind of an example. If you stake 100,000 Theta during six months, you'll get 100,000 divided by the total amount staked of Theta and then times 1.3 billion T-drop. The total amount of theta staked is going to fluctuate a little bit, but uh, probably not significantly. We can probably use the current amount staked as just a general reference point, and that's what we're going to do. So then after that, 666.666666 million uh, T drop, or one sixth of the 4 billion, will be distributed proportionally to stakers each quarter. May 1st, August 1st, November 1st, and then the last one will be on February 1st. Okay, so the question that comes up is, how do you calculate it? How much are you going to earn per 1,000 staked, um, et cetera, et cetera. So let's go over to the spreadsheet, and I'm going to show you how it works. So I have two different versions here. We're going to start with the simplest one, okay? So we're going to take the current amount that you have staked right now and just assume that you've had 1000 staked since august and you will have 1000 staked all the way to february and it's an unchanging amount so the average will be the same the average will only change if you change how much you have staked so let's just make this as simple as possible so you have 1000 there's 649 about 650 million theta staked right now um, you can see that by going to thetatoken.org and looking at the Explorer, looking at stakes, scrolling down to the bottom, and you can see this. This is the total amount of staked theta right now. So that's the that is the number we're going off of. So that's what we have. So then you take your stake divided by the total stake, and that's your percentage of the entire amount of theta staked. So if you were to get to 1%, you know, you would need to have about 6 million staked. Okay. So, but you have to have a minimum of 1,000 staked, and that's probably around, right around where most people are going to have, you know, about 1,000 theta staked. So then you take 
total amount that's going to be tea dropped. You multiply it by your percent stake, and you get about 6,160 tea drop. All right, so <clears throat> there's about a ratio of about six to one. So you'll get about six tea drop per 1,000 theta that you have. Um, that's in total, though. So it's going to be distributed, though, in a quarterly basis. So February, May, August, November, and February. So one third is going to be on February 1st, and that's going to be about 2,000. Let's go ahead and get rid of these decimal places. Makes it easy, make it easier. So then you get 22,054 on February 1st, and then after that, you get about 1,027. And this number, I believe, is still based on what you have stake right now between August of this year and February of next year. And so you'll just get this, it'll just kind of lock it in, but it'll be distributed over the course of that year, next year, February to February. And so you end up with a total of about 6,061. Uh, 6,161 T-drop. All right, so that's the basic formula. So like you just take whatever number you have, say you have 5,000 staked and you're just, you've had it staked for a long time and that's what you have. So then that changes everything here. You're gonna be looking at about 30,000 T-drop. Maybe you've got 2,000. This is just a rough estimate. Uh, you shouldn't take any of this to be guaranteeing that you'll get this because like I said, this number can change. Um, this number might be changing, who knows? Uh, what's going to happen. This is just a preliminary plan, but this is just a way to get kind of your head around what's going on and get a potential idea of what you're looking at. Now, if that's all you want, thank you for watching. I'm going to go into a little bit more detail um, and answer some questions about what if I have some staked already and I want to stake some more? What uh, is going to, how is that going to affect my potential T-drop earnings? So let's go over here to this changing stake tab. That's going to go reference this other tab, okay? And so right here, it's basically the same, but we're going to come over here to reference. Now we're going to look at how this is getting done. And this should change based on the day that you access this. So every day that you come on, this, this should change and update. But So we started on August 1st, right? And we're going to be ending on... February 1st, 2022. Okay, so we have all these days. What I have here, the total number of days is 184 days between August and February. Okay, so you take a, an average of the theta that's staked to your guardian node over a course of 184 days and you get this average stake amount over here. So let's say you start off with 1000. Okay, and then you had 1,000 staked between August and today, which is October 5th. So you had 1,000. Then you decided to add 1,000 more. You don't unstake it, you just add another 1,000. So today, you add 2,000 theta. Okay? Now you have 2,000 theta, and then you're going to take that all the way down to that, and you just leave it. So that's what you have. So what does that do? That changes the average stake from 1,500 to 1,646. That's going to change your airdrop to about 10,144. So that's what changing your stake midway through is going to look like, as opposed to just having 1,000 stake for the entire time. You're looking at a little bit more, about 4,000 more T-drop. Okay, so another big question is, what if I unstake... Suppose I have 1,000, so what if I unstake and add 500? So in order to add anything less than 1,000, you'll have to unstake that theta, and then that guardian node is going to be down for a couple of days. So what if I unstake and restake? The reason you would do this is if you have maybe 500 or 800 theta, but it's not quite 1,000. So what does that look like? So let's say today on October 5th, you take down your guardian node. So that's going to be 0, 0, zero at the at the least um might even potentially be four days down but so let's say you're able to restake on day four and you're gonna stake 1500 now so you've had 1000 up until this point you had three days down okay so now we're gonna do 1500 for the rest of the time what's that gonna look like so we go all the way down okay okay go back here that's gonna average out to about 1298 you're gonna be at 8000 so 
If you had 1,000 and you just left it, you're allowed 6161. If you take it down and go to 1,500, you're at about 8,000. So still a little bit better, but you know that's that's 500 theta. So now let's say if you wanted to do okay, what if I have 25 theta? Is that going to make it work? Probably not. So say you just added 25 theta. Well now your average goes down to 999. Uh, it's actually going to be less than if you would have just left it alone because you're losing those three days in the middle. That's going to drop your average significantly. So you'll have to figure out where that you know golden ratio is to warrant un unstaking for a couple of days and then restaking. So maybe you have you know 100 theta that you want to add. How does that look? Uh, we'll just do it as another example. That might be worth it. So we have that. So yeah, you'd get a couple hundred more T-drop that way than if you just left the 1,000 staked. Suppose, though, it doesn't happen on day three and you only get four days. It's not a significant drop. So you're probably okay to unstake and restake if you're doing at least 100 or more theta. Um, if you're not doing that, then it may be better that you just leave the stake as is. So, so here's more of like a realistic example. Maybe you had 1,200 and you staked about 1,200 all the way up till today. And then you added another thousand, so you have twenty two hundred, and you're gonna stake twenty two hundred until the end of time or February first at least. That's gonna put your average about eighteen forty one, giving you a potential airdrop of about eleven thousand three hundred forty four. Not quite as good as if you had had that staked already at two thousand or twenty two hundred. If you were able to stake twenty two hundred for the entire time, you know that'd be what you would be getting so that that average plays a pretty significant role it's a difference of about 2000 t drop so so yeah i hope that helps um hope that i'm sure there's probably an easier way to do this but this seemed like the most straightforward way to just visualize you know the average between the days and like i said we don't know exactly how all this is going to work so just keep that in mind as you do that anyway Thank you for watching, and please share this video and give a like or a comment if you found it helpful. Thank you for watching. This is Daniel Pace with Simple Crypto Consulting, where we simplify and secure the crypto sphere.